what is coronavirus? Coronavirus is a name for a type of virus. There are lots and lots of different coronaviruses. They are called coronaviruses because they look like crowns. Um, they've got lots of little protein spikes coming out of the circle of the virus, which makes them look like they have a corona. How is coronavirus spread? Coronavirus is a respiratory infection. Um, it is spread by mucus, uh, which comes out of you when you cough, when you sneeze. Uh, it's spread by contact with people. How do you prevent the spread of coronavirus? I think we all know how to prevent the spread of coronavirus in our own personal lives. Uh, we are told to wash our hands, we are told to cover our mouth when we sneeze, to use tissues, to be careful about personal hygiene. Exactly the same applies for this new coronavirus. One of the more interesting statistics coming out of this is that in places such as Hong Kong where they have had coronavirus infections, it looks like the number of other infectious diseases that are spread this way have gone down basically because everyone is suddenly washing their hands and doing all the things they should have been doing all along. What should we be doing? We should not be worrying about ourselves unless you are elderly and you have other pre-existing conditions. For most of us, Washing our hands, preventing ourselves from getting coronavirus is a societally responsible thing to do to prevent the spread to the vulnerable people for whom this is really a serious thing to get. Where did the virus come from? There's two answers to where the virus came from. The first answer is obviously that it came from China, um, probably from Wuhan. The second answer is it came from bats. Most of the worst viruses and infections we get come from animals. Viruses don't want to kill. They're not malevolent. They don't want us to cease spreading them, which is what happens when we die. Corpses don't sneeze. It's very bad for your virus if you die. And so in animals, these will have evolved, co-evolved over eons, over millennia, to not kill the animal. They'll have spread around the bats, much like the common cold does among us. But when they make the species jump, and come out of the bats, um, possibly via pangolins, which are these very strange scaly mammals, uh, then that no longer applies. And that's why this virus is, from its point of view and our point of view, going wrong. How far away is a cure for coronavirus? There probably won't be a cure for coronavirus. There are two medical things that you can do with viruses like these. One of them is a vaccine. The attempt to build a vaccine has been unprecedented. It's been a marvellous example of scientific cooperation. Um, there have been teams around the world working together. It looks like there might, might just be a vaccine within a year. And if that is achieved, it will be one of the most astonishing achievements of science in this century. And it will also be largely useless because by then the pandemic will have run its course. What scientists are looking at is antiviral drugs. They're hoping that we can repurpose drugs we already have. Two of the contenders are drugs for HIV. And there's a drug which is used to stop the HIV virus from replicating once it's in cells. And the enzyme that it targets is also an enzyme used by coronavirus. It's possible that that might slow the spread of the virus once it's in people's bodies. Another approach is chloroquine, which weirdly is used for malaria, which is a parasite. So completely different from a virus but there's some evidence that chloroquine will stop a virus from locking onto a cell. And maybe if we can use that in people, that will again slow down the severity of the virus and mean that for those who are most at risk, it's less likely to cause them severe damage, hospitalization, and even death.